Hello friends, a warm welcome to all of you to this Facebook live session on the topic of management programs of Kikuna. As you all know, we are conducting a series of Facebook live session as a part of the January 2024 admission cycle for which the last date of applying is 31st of January 2024. Even previously also, we have done Facebook live sessions on the topics related to the programs being offered by IGNO. So today's Facebook live session, I am going to focus only on the management programs of IGNO. So why, uh, why we need to pursue a program from IGNO? Basically, we all know that IGNO means lifelong study. So this helps us in skill enhancement. Uh, this helps you to have better career prospects, to enhance the profile of the individual, to enhance the job opportunities. It also enriches our existing knowledge and in fact, uh, uh, pursuing a program for IGNO also opens various avenues for the overall betterment of our life. So that's why we say that IGNO, in IGNO, studying with IGNO means lifelong learning because uh, there are no age uh, restrictions at IGNO. Minimum you can be of 18 years of age and maximum you can be of any age. Even if you are an 80 year old person, you can study any program from IGNO as per the required eligibility criteria of IGNO. So before I do uh, go on to the management level programs of IGNO, let me just explain you some of the features of IGNO. IGNO is an act A++ accredited educational institution which was established by an act of parliament and the programs are offered in compliance to NEP 2020. Uh, in fact, the guidelines of each program is available in the program guide which is available on https egyancoach.ac.in. The programs of IGNO follow the multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary approach and has a modular approach. In fact, uh, some of the programs of IGNO have a modular approach. Like if you apply for a PG program, uh, by the time you complete with your PG program, you get uh, two degrees certificates in your hand. One after the completion of your first year when you are awarded with a PG diploma certificate and after completion of the second year, you are awarded with a master's level certificate. For example, the MSc CFT program, that is the Master of Counseling and Family Therapy program follows the modular approach. Further, our all programs are socially and academically relevant programs and are based on students' need analysis. So, what are the features of IGNO? Come, let's just see. Uh, the main basic feature is uh, we have individualized study for uh, the students. There is flexibility in terms of place, space and duration of study. Like suppose if you take admission to any program of IGNO, uh, because of their professional commitments, if you are transferred to anywhere all over India, we have our regional centers across India and you can continue with your uh, study by getting yourself transferred to the concerned regional center at your uh, place of job and thus continue with your study. Also, IGNO uses the latest information and communication technologies for teaching learning situation and we have nationwide student support services network and our all programs are cost effective and have a cost effective fee structure. With respect to recognition of IGNO programs, let me just inform you that all the degrees diploma certificates awarded by IGNO are recognized by the member institution, uh, institutions of the Association of Indian Universities and are at par with the corresponding degrees, diploma, certificates issued by All India Universities, in universities and institutions and all the management and computer programs are recognized by AICT. As far as the admission cycle at IGNO is concerned, basically IGNO offers its programs to two admission cycles, that is the January session and the July session. In fact, all diploma and certificate programs are offered in both the session of the admission cycle and each program comprises of courses and each course is valued by a credit. That is, uh, in IGNO we use a, a credit system, um, 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 uh, IGNO follows the credit method. 
methodology. Further, we also have something called a course wise registration certification scheme that is the CRCS scheme of IGNO. And let's uh, come, let's see more about this program as well. Now, we, uh, as far as the bachelor's degree admission cycle at uh, IGNO is concerned, it is have, uh, we still have this bachelor's degree in both January session and July session. However, here you please note that in July session, uh, programs like BBARIL and BBASM are offered only in the July session. And the bachelor's degree programs are session specific for admission and each program comprises of courses. As far as the, as the MBA, PG diploma admissions are concerned, uh, the programs of MBA and PG diplomas are offered in both January and July session and there is no entrance examination for applying for an MBA program of IGNO. Earlier, IGNO used to conduct entrance examination but presently the norms have changed and there is no entrance examinations and the uh, MBA program is offered in both the session of admission cycle. So, what is course-wise registration and certification scheme of IGNO? Come, let's just have a view. Supposing you are a student who wants to go abroad and he, he needs some credits to add on to his uh, educational uh, certification. Uh, the, uh, they may be interested in having a course-wise, uh, they may be interested in joining through the CRCS scheme of IGNO. Or supposing you are interested in a particular subject and you want to enhance your knowledge by only studying that particular subject of a program. Uh, for those students also, the CRCS scheme of IGNO would be beneficial. The student can register for a single course or a limited number of courses subject to a maximum of 16 credits. The eligibility for registering for a course under CRCS is the same as the eligibility for admission to the program from where the courses are drawn. CRCS is offered in both cycles of admission subject to the provision that the courses are on offer in the particular admission cycle. Registration for all the courses for all the academic programs is open for registration under CRCS except the courses offered under research degree programs and awareness appreciation level programs. And the courses in fact are offered in combination have to be taken together by the student. So you have to follow the eligibility criteria which is prescribed for the certain program to apply for the course-wise registration scheme of IGNO. So this uh, live session is basically to uh, talk to you about the management related programs of IGNO. So there are basically 14 programs related to management which are available at the certificate, postgraduate diploma, bachelor's degree level and master's degree level. As far as the management uh, related programs of IGNO are concerned, we have certificate in business skills, bachelor of business management, service management uh, and bachelor of business management, BBRIN, bachelor of commerce, BCom, G, PG diploma in international business operations, master of commerce. So uh, details about all these programs are available in the IGNO common prospectus which is available on the IGNO website www.igno.ac.in. Other programs are PG Diploma in Human Resource Management, PG Diploma in Financial Management, PG Diploma in Operations Management, PG Diploma in Marketing Management, PG Diploma in Services Management, Master of Business Administration, uh, we have specialized Master of Business Administration, Master of Business Administration in Banking and Finance. The Management Programs Prospectus link is available as shown in the screenshot which is in the, on the screen. Uh, how you can access it on the IGNO website https www.igno.ac.in. So now we go on to the basic uh, eligibility criteria, duration of the programs of uh, which come under, which may be of interest to you if you want to study management. That is certificate in business case, the eligibility criteria is 10 plus 2 pass or it's equivalent. Uh, the medium of study is uh, it's in English and the duration is minimum 6 months and maximum 2 years. And this program is offered in both January and July admission cycle. Next you have the Bachelor of Business Management Service Management. 
Uh, this program, the eligibility criteria is you should have passed 10 plus 2 or it's equivalent, uh, equivalent or you should have at least attained 18 years of age, should be working in services industry as a full time intern, advertise or an employee. And uh, here, this program is offered only in the July admission cycle. So, presently, the January admission cycle is ongoing. So, this program won't be on offer in this admission cycle. Similar is with the Bachelor of Business Management Retailing, uh, in which there are two categories. That is, category A is the direct entry, wherein if you are a 10 plus 2 or an equivalent, you can join. Category B is a sponsored admission. Uh, <coughs> For those who have passed 10 plus 2 or equivalent or from a retail organization and sponsor we submit the application form of the candidate nominated with the program fee to a demand draft in favor of IGNO payable at New Delhi. So this program is also offered, uh, is also on offer in the July admission cycle only and it's of minimum 3 years duration and maximum you can complete it in 6 years. BCom G is another one of the famous programs of Igno in which the eligibility criteria is 10 plus 2 and the duration is minimum 3 year and maximum 6 years. And presently, we, uh, Igno has launched the 4 year undergraduate program. Uh, so, the presently, the BCom is of a 4 year undergraduate program of Igno and it is offered in both January and July admission cycle. Then you have the PG Diploma in International Business Operations wherein the eligibility criteria is bachelor's degree in any discipline or equivalent and the medium of study is English and Hindi. Uh, as far as duration is concerned, it is minimum one year and maximum three years and it is offered in both January and July admission cycle. Next we have the Master of Commerce program wherein the eligibility criteria is the bachelor's degree or a higher degree from a recognized university. And the medium of study is available in both English and Hindi and the duration is minimum 2 years and maximum 4 years and it is offered in both January and July admission study. Then you have the postgraduate diploma programs of management and there are 5 postgraduate diploma programs which are namely PG Diploma in HRF, PG Diploma in Financial Management, PG Diploma in Operations Management, PG Diploma in Marketing Management and PG Diploma in Services Management. And the uh, common eligibility criteria for all the PG Diploma programs is any graduate including Chartered Accountancy, Cost Accountancy with 50% marks for general category and 45% marks for the reserve category as per Government of India goals. And the minimum medium of study is English and the duration is minimum of one year and maximum three years and it's offered in both January and July admission cycle. So now we come on, uh, on to the very one of the most uh, reputed programs of uh, IGNO which is the Master of Business Administration that is MBA program of IGNO. Then uh, uh, the MBA program, we have almost five types of MBA programs on offer. That is the first is the general MBA, second is the MBA financial management, MBA human resource management, MBA marketing management and MBA operations management. So what are the eligibility criteria which one needs uh, to pursue an MBA program from IGNO? Come, just let us uh, see. The eligibility criteria is you should be a graduate with minimum 50% of marks and 45% in case you belong to a candidate belonging to a reserve category. Each semester comprises 5 courses and the medium of study is English and the duration is minimum 2 years and maximum 4 years. And as far as the fee structure of MBA is concerned, it is 15,500 for the first, second and third semester and 17,500 for the third semester as it has uh, as it has a credit project. So, what are the program structure of an MBA program? In the first and second semester, we have seven core subjects, and in the third semester, we have two core subjects. Uh, then we need to have a specialization which will have four subjects. Then project, there will be one project. Similarly, for the fourth semester, uh, there will be three core subjects, and the you have the, uh, specialization, there will be four subjects. So, project basically comes in the third semester of the MBA program. And each of the MBA program consists of 28 courses in all. 
and 19 out of which are four courses and eight courses are from the chosen specialization and you have one project that is MNPP 001 which is equivalent to two courses. So next what we have is Master of Business Administration, Banking and Finance. The eligibility criteria is you should have passed a bachelor degree of minimum three years duration with at least 50% marks, 45% in case of candidates belonging to the serve category. He or she should have passed the CA2, uh, CAIIB examination of the Indian Institute of Banking and Finance Mumbai and has, would have been awarded the requisite qualification credentials by the institute. Or he or she should have been working in the banking or financial services sector for a period of at least two years. So the medium of study here would be English and the duration is minimum two years and maximum four years. Similarly, we have many certificate programs on offer uh, in the present admission cycle. However, if you are a learner who is aspiring for a management degree and along with your management degree, you can also offer certain certificate level programs of ICNO like certificate in disaster management, certificate in human rights and certificate in functional English program. So now I think I have given an overview about the management programs of IGNO. You would have definitely got an idea about uh, how you can take up admission to the management level programs of IGNO and basic idea about the courses which are available uh, under management programs of IGNO. So now before uh, the next I would like to give you some additional information about the Swayam portal in which also IGNO courses are available. So what is Swayam is? Swayam is a study web of active learning for young aspiring minds and https.swayam.gov.in is the official website of the Swayam portal in which various courses are available in the online mode. So students who are interested in uh, doing various courses in the online mode you can register in the Swayam portal and you can pursue the course of your choice. And even national education policy related courses are available in the Swayam portal and it is open for students as well. So now the last date of admissions is approaching fast. The last date as I told you all before is 31st of January 2024 for the January 2024 admission cycle. And please consider for enrolling with IGNO and uh, uh, the link to our IGNO admissions are, can be applied online and the link is https ignoadmission.summer.edu.in or you can register at a, a go to IGNO website that is www.igno.ac.in and go to the register online and click on fresh admission. In case you have any queries with respect to the programs which I have talked or any programs pertaining to ICNO, please feel free to write to us at rccoachin at the rate icno.ac.in. So these are some of the important websites uh, which uh, you may please note down. That is a link for the admissions is uh, ignoadmission.samarth.edu.in. For all basic information, please refer, refer our official website www.ethno.ac.in and our study materials can also be downloaded free of cost from https egyankosh.ac.in and you can also re, uh, refer our regional center coaching website httprcoaching.ethno.ac.in and please communicate with us through email id rccoachin at the rate ignore.ac.in and we have our Facebook, Twitter and Instagram account. Please follow us on Facebook and please follow us on Twitter and also follow us on Instagram. We have our YouTube channel of RC Coaching in various uh, promotional meetings, various induction meetings and various uh, educational related videos have been uploaded. So please subscribe to the uh, Regional Centre Coaching YouTube channel at https www.youtube.com slash c slash ICNO Regional Centre Coaching. So before I end this session, let me uh, tell you our thoughts. Like education always will have spin off benefits, but wherever in, you are in your life or your career, definitely having an educational qualification would add on to your profile 
and enrollment into a program of study in fact is the first step for acquiring an educational qualification and hence please try and do some short duration programs or any program of your interest from ECNO. So I end my this presentation with a duly acknowledging the authorities of ECNO for facilitating to conduct this virtual promotional meeting. I, uh, in fact, uh, I wholeheartedly thank the technical assistance for this program and the back office operations for this program have been rendered by this Veshma Suresh and the PowerPoint was facilitated by our regional director, Dr. G.S. Dorothy Madam. So, thank you all for listening to me patiently. I am sure you would have got a basic idea about the management level programs of Vigno. And thank you all for watching this uh, virtual promotional meeting which was hosted by Igno Regional Center Kuchin and the meeting uh, and the video can be accessed on our YouTube channel as well to find kindly subscribe to our Igno Regional Center Kuchin YouTube channel. So thank you all for once again listening to me and I am sure you all uh, will join to some programs of Igno after listening to this presentation. Thank you once again.